Hey okay. guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to show you guys how I do my poof. Well, I have two different ways I do it, only because it depends on the texture of my hair and how my hair is. This is actually air dry hair that I just kind of like pinned to the side. Um, literally air dried. There's not um, product in it except leave-in conditioner and some oil and that's it. And hair is a little bit of a close-up of what it looks like when it's air dry. You can see some texture in it, but it's kind of fizzy. So, you know. Um, I actually clipped it to the side because when I was letting the air dry, the side that was hanging was kind of, um, a little bit of the hair got into my eye and it irritated me a little bit. So I was like, okay, whatever, let me put it to the side. Um, in case anyone wants to know, because I might get questions asked on the lipstick, this is MAC um, Gunner lipstick. I th think this was a limited edition, I can't remember. But um, I bought it and I've worn it a few times, so I figure I'm recording today, I'll wear it today. Okay, so this is not really a hairstyle that I have going on here. Um, I just, like I said, pinned it out the way so that it could dry. So my hair is literally like, this is what it looks like. And my hair has color in it. For some reason, it doesn't show up properly like in regular light. But in daylight, like sunlight, it shows up. Um, I'm actually going to try to use the a magenta color to see if it's going to raise it really better because my hair, my natural hair is extremely dark so I don't know. Okay, enough rambling. So this gives me a really nice poof when I have this type of a texture going on and this is how I get like a nice little curly poof. If I want a fro poof, I usually just have to comb my hair out which I'll show you guys also so I'm not going to um like style my hair up too tight that way I can loose it out and show you guys both both uh, styles so we're gonna leave this one just like this I'm not really gonna add any product to my hair like I said because I'm doing two hairstyles and I don't want my hair to be greasy or anything like that so I'm just gonna take some leave-in conditioner and this is what I've been using to wet my hair like I told you guys I dread wetting my hair with water but hopefully in time to come I'll come around to that so I'm just going to spray this all over my hair just to moist it a little bit, not to wet it. And for my poofs, I use, uh, this is actually a regular hair band that usually looks like this. But I cut mine because I feel like I get a better grip when it's like this. I'm just going to take my hairbrush. But actually before I take my hairbrush, I'm lying. Let me take my hair gel. And I usually smooth this on with my fingers because I smooth it out first and then I brush it in. I don't know if that makes any sense. But I'm not going to use a lot just because I'm obviously doing two hairstyles. So I'm just going to smooth this in each section, front and back, with my hand first. And the back of my hair is the same texture as the front, like there's nothing going on really and my hair has grown so much but when it's like this you can't really see so I'm just going to take my hair brush and brush just the front part of my hair I don't really use my comb my brush a lot since I decided to go natural because I don't know I feel like my fingers do the job so once I feel like I've got the desired look on what I'm going for I just take my hair scrunchie I'm gonna turn around and show you guys so the first thing I do is grab it to the front and I tie it this way and believe it or not I did not watch no video on how to do this because the first day I cut all my hair off um, this was the first thing I did use one of these to tie my hair and I just did it and since then I've been able to do it the way I want to so once I get it to the top like that, I'm not going to move it from the top anymore. I'm just going to move it to, from the back. So I'm just going to push the back up a little bit. And as I push the back up, I'll pull the front. And once I feel like I've got the desired like height in terms of how I want my poof like that. And if you guys have seen my first set of poof pictures you'd know my hair has grown out so much because this is a big poof compared to the poof I used to have so once I got it like this I usually just literally 
hold the, the hairband and I just twirl it around and do one knot. I don't really tie it tight and I leave it like that. So the last thing I do is just mess with my poof and I bring my baby hairs out. Now, usually I tie my hair down also, but because, you know, I'm doing more than one hairstyle, I'm not going to do all that. And no, this is not a toothbrush I brush my teeth with. This is just one that I use for my hair and I wash it every week along with my brushes because it actually washes out the product when you do that, so that's good. And I just style my baby hair how I want it. You can add gel to your baby hair, it's up to you. I don't really do that because my baby hairs do not lay. Maybe I need to get something else. As you can tell, it does not stay. So, you can play around with it. And the last thing I do is spritz it just to keep it, the curls, just how it is. So it looks like really defined. And that is my poof. My curly poof at least. So I'll turn and show you guys the back. That's my curly poof, and I'm gonna take this down and show you guys. Let me get my one. second poof, which is more of an afro poof. First things first, I have to like section my hair out, and I have to detangle most of my curls out. So I won't really be talking through this video. In this part, I'll just um, detangle it and then show you guys what I'm talking about. So. This is the texture my hair has right now. It has some curls. And I'm going to take this white tube comb and just detangle the curls out. I got my hair detangled. Um, so this is the difference. I don't know if you guys can tell. It looks more like a fro compared to the curls I had before. And I'm going to do the same procedure. Which is put gel but honestly I'm not gonna put gel my hair already has product in it so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna wet it one more time to just moisten it and I'm just gonna brush this up like I did do the same thing these things when you cut them they're the business so they work really well for me pull it up I want to make sure there's no like hair stuck on the side so that always happens to me and in front obviously and I'm just going to tie the top the same way pull the back up which I showed you guys before and depending how I want this I think that's good because I could have make it a little bit bigger but I just don't want to give myself a headache that's another thing I try not to do with my hair because my hair if it's just too big it'll give me a migraine so once I got that I just play around with my poof by like picking at it I don't know if that makes any sense like if I'm using a pick I should have one of those combs but I don't know where it's at and I'm going to just take my toothbrush and sleek this part up a little bit. So my hair in front, the texture is so straight and curly at the same time it's weird. And a lot of you might be right, my hair in front might just be a different texture in terms of the rest of my hair. So, once I got that done, because this poof is a little bit more... I don't know bigger I just pull a little bit more hair out on the side and pull it out and over here I don't really fix it I just spread it out it depends on how I'm feeling man hmm. I don't know whatever so this is my afro poof this is how I get my afro poof like done and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna show you guys the back. Hopefully you guys can see that because I'm not 
see myself in frame so I don't know if I'm showing you guys everything right but you can tell just by looking at it and it's bigger compared to the poof I just have and I'm going to miss this once my hair goes out like being able to get my hair in a nice little poof but I can't wait for my hair to grow at the same time so I can do so many different things with it and usually I will change up the poof by adding a little bit of flat screw in front or something different just to you know give my hair a different look but every time I wear my poof I get so much compliments and it's like yay <laughs> so this is the second poof I hope you guys enjoyed this video quick simple and easy I know there's a lot of videos on here but I get questions asked all the time on it so I figure why not my next video is going to be a twist out tutorial for my hair length if you're this hair length and I will definitely do that really soon for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed my video thumbs it up I've missed you I'm really trying not to be away this long but I was kind of um sick for some while I'm kind of like still sick um but I'm getting better so yeah I hope everybody's been well overall I've been well you know just the usual cold here and there and whatnot but I missed you guys do enjoy thumbs my video up comment down below I'll get back to everybody as soon as I can and until my next video talk to you guys later bye